Welcome to the section on Miracle Principles 7 and 8. Beginning with Miracle Principle number 7, which is, Miracles are everyone's right, but purification is necessary first. In this principle, we are being reminded of our inherent connection with each other. We are all one, and so what is possible for one person is possible for everyone else. There is really no distinction between us. All there is, is one mind having an experience of separation. In this regard, we are all equal. Behind the ego's physical facade is the truth that we are all one. At the level of our unconscious minds, we know that there is only one. At the conscious level of the mind, though, this is not so apparent. The fact is, though, that because we are all one, we are all equal. And so miracles are everyone's right. No matter what is going on in each of our lives, and no matter the decisions we make, Miracles are the right of all of us, because at our core, we are one. We are the same. Now, as for the second portion of this miracle principle, that purification is necessary first. This is in regard to our minds. The purification of our minds means that our minds must be out of ego mode. That is all. You may be familiar with the Course teaching, that the holy instant requires not that you don't have a negative thought, just that you have none that you would keep. It's helpful to remember that we are always choosing between using the wrong mind of the ego and the right mind of the Holy Spirit. So in order to welcome and allow the miracle, we need to use our right minds. So to allow and experience the miracle, we need to purify our minds which means to stop using the wrong mind of the ego. And now for miracle principle number eight. Miracles are healing because they supply a lack. They are performed by those who temporarily have more for those who temporarily have less. Now lack is a major theme in the thought system of the ego because the ego is based upon the idea that we think we left God. That means that every time we think with the ego, we will feel lonely, unfulfilled, and lacking in some way. The miracle corrects the mistaken idea of lack, and you remember that you only perceive yourself as lacking because you've been thinking with the ego mind, so you recognize that it is a mistake in your thinking that you have made. Now, miracles are performed by those who temporarily have more for those who temporarily have less means that those who welcome and allow miracles are temporarily in their right minds, and this is why they have more. Being in your right mind means that you have left your ego agenda behind, if even temporarily. When you are in your right mind, you have chosen to remember the truth, that you are whole and complete and this is why you have more. Because you become aware of this truth, you are simply acknowledging this truth that you are not the ego and therefore you are never lacking. Those who seemingly have less are those who are just simply in their ego minds and they just believe that they are lacking even though they are not. As miracle workers, we can remember the truth and see the truth in them. Remember that the mind is one. So whatever you think for another, you are thinking about yourself. <laughs>